today is Tuesday, October 1st, and you're watching an SCW News Digest. A shooting along Stockton's Brookside Road has landed one man in the hospital today. Police say that at 4.57 this morning, an adult male was walking on the bike path which borders Brookside Road and the Calaveras River. The pedestrian turned shooting victim, heard two gunshots, then felt pain. The man was able to make contact with a Stockton police officer and was transported to an area hospital suffering non-life-threatening wounds. That particular stretch of the Calaveras River is right near the University of the Pacific and Stagg High School. Well, what you may, what may have turned into a workplace shooting was thwarted by San Joaquin County Sheriff's deputies. Yesterday, a worker in Lathrop told deputies that Brandon Bernardo told employees that he would show up to work the next day to shoot fellow employees. The tipster also said that Bernardo showed photos of him holding a gun to fellow employees. Deputies detained Bernardo and he reportedly said that he had no intention of carrying out that threat. The sheriff's office says that the threats are not to be taken lightly and that the perspective as to whether or not the threat is credible belongs to the victim. Bernardo was booked in a San Joaquin County Jail. We'll have more news after this. Welcome back. A well-known Christian band is slated to hold a concert tonight here in Stockton. The arena tonight in downtown is expected to be filled with hundreds of people listening to and possibly singing along with Casting Crowns who are performing some of their more well-known worship and contemporary music. The band is on their Only Jesus tour and is planning on stopping next in Denver. Tickets are still available on Ticketmaster and we checked the least expensive tickets were around $22 with the more expensive ones topping off around $96. The concert gets underway at 7.30, also featuring special guests Kari Joby, Cody Carnes, and Jamie Kimmett. Thank you for watching this SCW News Digest. I'll see you back here tomorrow with more news from Stockton.